Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, lecturer in computing at the National College of Ireland, and in this short video I want to show you how to calculate net present value in Microsoft Excel. In this video we first of all see what net present value NPV is, then we'll take a look at why project managers are going to use this tool to help them select projects. We're then going to look at how to calculate a discount factor, we're going to use a special formula for doing that, and we then we go through on a step-by-step -step procedure on how to manually calculate net present value. First of all, what net present value? Well, this is a type of analysis as a method for calculating the expected net monetary gain or loss from a project by discounting all expected future cash inflows and outflows to the present point in time. In other words, what is money in the future uh, going to be worth today? What is its net present value? Projects with higher NPVs are preferred to projects with lower NPVs if all other factors be equal and in this way uh, we can use this to help us uh, select a project. Here we have an example of uh, some financial details for two projects, Project A and Project B. These figures and all the figures I use here um, are taken from uh, the book An Introduction to Project Management, 2nd edition by Cathy Schwab. And in these examples here, we've got two projects uh, spread over five years, and we have um, calculated the estimated benefits and costs on a yearly basis for both projects, and you can see the figures here. The figures are different on a year-by-year -year basis, and if we look at the total benefits for Project A, we can see that it's €14,000, and the total costs for Project A are €9,000, giving us a net cash flow of €5,000. In Project B, we have um, different total benefits and costs, but as we can see in yellow here, the net cash flow is also €5,000. So despite the fact that there are different costs and benefits on a year-by-year -year basis, the net cash flow in both projects at the end of five years is the same, €5,000. So using these calculations doesn't help us uh, from a financial point of view uh, whether we want to select Project A or select Project B. We would have to use other factors. So what I want to do now is go on and use net present value instead of the calculations that you see here. The first thing I've done is I've taken the figures uh, off of the previous uh, slide and spread them out a little bit further here. So I'm using the exact same costs and benefits for both projects. And they're spread out here with their totals on the right hand side. Two things in particular I want you to look at here. First of all, in brown at the top of the screen uh, is the discount rate. And in this case, it's 10%. So this is the rate at which I'm going to discount the costs and benefits each year. We can change this rate. We can see what a 9% rate or an 11% or 12% rate would work out as. And then you can see in the yellow and uh, blue boxes here, these are figures that are going to help us uh, calculate the NPV for both projects so that we can uh, select one project over the other. The next thing I need to do is um, calculate the discount factor, and we use that using the following formula. The discount factor is 1 over, and in brackets, 1 plus R, where R is the discount rate, um, 10% in the example that we were just talking about, and all of that's to the power of T, which is the value for the year. So in year 1, that will have a value of 1, in year 2, it will have a value of 2, and so on. So that's our formula for calculating the discount factor that we are going to apply to all costs and all benefits for each year. So in Excel, we can see here, hopefully you'll be able to read this in the video, uh, we, we say equals uh, 1 over 1 plus the value that's in our discount rate, which is in this case in cell B1. And I'm using the dollar symbol there to indicate that that's an absolute uh, value so that I can uh, use this uh, in Excel uh, to uh, copy cells so that that cell reference doesn't change. So I'm using an absolute cell reference there for B1. The dollar does not stand for uh, the dollar currency. And then in after that then, I want to make that to the power of T, the year, in this case 1 for the first year. And we use the hat symbol, which is the symbol over the number 6 key on your QWERTY keyboard. So when we complete that calculation there, we can see that the disk factor in year 1 uh, works out as 0.91. And then what I do is, you know, in Excel, as you may know, there's a little small box in the bottom right hand uh, of that particular cell there. And if I pick that up and drag it to the right, I can copy that formula for years 2, 3, 4, and 5. 
So when I drive um, the formula from the discount factor for year one uh, over to the other years, we can see that we have a discount factor calculated for years two, three, four, and five, and you can see that it is decreasing slightly on a year-by-year -year basis. Next thing we need to do then is to calculate the discounted cost. In other words, apply the discount factor to the cost that we have estimated for each year. So that's a simple formula. We just multiply the cost by the discount factor. In this case, um, cell B4 is multiplied by cell B5. This gives us a value, in this case, of €4,545.45. So what this means is that at the end of year one, our calculated costs of €5,000 after the discount factor has been applied means that we have a discounted cost uh, of just over €4,500. Once and again, I can use the dragging tool, uh, uh, this little box in the bottom right hand corner of that cell, to copy that formula over for the remaining year. When I drag the formula over, I can see a discounted cost uh, for year 2, year 3, year 4 and year 5, and they're all selected here. So we can see that the discounted costs are diminishing uh, as the years go by. And in the first yellow cell on the right hand side here, we want to calculate the total discounted costs. So the total discounted costs are simply the sum of all the discounted costs that apply for each of the, of the years um, over the duration. And we can see that the total discounted cost for Project A works out at €7,427.15. And, and this compares with the actual cost of €9,000. So the net present value of that €9,000 is just over €7,400. We now want to move on and apply the same discount factor to the benefits. So I have filled out all the figures here. I have used the same formula on a year-by-year -year basis for the discount factor to calculate the discounted benefits as I did for the discounted costs. So you can see that the values for the discounted factor uh, for the benefits are exactly the same. I multiply for each year the discount factor by the benefits in this case, and you can see that we have a range of discounted benefits uh, over the five years. And this totals um, to €9,743.50. This compares with the €14,000, which is the calculated benefit. Uh, the net present value of that uh, will, is just over €9,700. So we now want to calculate the actual net present value for the entire project, which means we need to um, subtract the costs from the benefits. When we do that, um, the net present value works out at €2,316.35 for Project A. We now need to move on and do the same calculations for Project B. In Project B, I've got all the values here. And once again, we're using the exact same discount factor formula on a year-by-year -year basis that we have used for the costs and benefits in Project A. So I fill these out here, and I've used, uh, multiplied the discount factor by the cost to get the range of discounted costs for the year, and this totals up at €7,581.50, highlighted in yellow here on the right. And the total discounted benefits uh, work out at €10,782.98, also highlighted in yellow. So when I subtract the discounted costs from the discounted benefits, I get an NPV for Project B of €3,201.41. When I compare that to the NPV for Project A, I can see that Project B has the higher net present value. So if I take those two figures and in Project A, uh, we have a NPV of just over €2,000, and in Project B, we have an NPV of just over €3,000. So based on these calculations and the principle that the higher the NPV, the better, uh, Project B, in this case, is selected over Project A, all other things being equal. That concludes this video on how to calculate net present value. I hope you found it useful. Thank you for your attention.